dear students from today onwards we are going to see some important naming reactions one by one so first one is called as duckin reaction this duckin reaction otherwise called as duckin rearrangement so first we'll see the definition of uh, this reaction aryl aldehydes or ketones that is having ortho hydroxy or para hydroxy or ortho amino or para amino group finally give phenol by treating with alkaline hydrogen peroxide so during that conversion what happens there may be replacement of aldehyde or ketone group by hydroxy group so what is duckin reaction aryl aldehydes or ketones that is having ortho hydroxy or para hydroxy or ortho amino or para amino group by treating with alkaline hydrogen peroxide that will finally give phenol so during that conversion what happens it is having that carbonyl group no that is aldehyde or ketone that is replaced by means of hydroxy group so there may be two steps one is treating with alkaline hydrogen peroxide another one is hydrolysis to getting the final product phenol we see that in words so it is a reaction which involves the replacement of aldehyde or ketone group of ortho hydroxy or para hydroxy or ortho amino or para amino benzaldehyde so instead of writing benzaldehyde we can put aryl aldehyde or ketone by a hydroxy group by the action of alkaline hydrogen peroxide so what is the starting material aryl aldehydes or ketones that is having these groups that is a hydroxy at ortho or para or amino at ortho or para and finally what you are getting phenol so what is the catalyst used that is alkaline hydrogen peroxide now we'll see the reaction of uh, this duckin reaction so for this already we have known what is the starting material that is aryl aryl aldehyde or ketone so that is having ortho hydroxy group so that is having ortho hydroxy group so what happens here this is uh, the name of this one is called as ortho hydroxy benzaldehyde so by treating with alkaline hydrogen peroxide what happens here we have the aldehyde now that aldehyde is converted to hydroxy group so what is the name of this one that is called as catechol this is chemically called as ortho dihydroxy benzene because both the hydroxy groups are ortho to each other that's why it is called ortho dihydroxy benzene another example is uh, here we have taken para hydroxy benzaldehyde here benzaldehyde in para position it is having hydroxy group so this treated with this would be treated with alkaline hydrogen peroxide what happens this aldehyde would be converted to hydroxy group this can be called as quinol so this is an this is a phenol so both are phenols so if you are taking aryl aldehydes or ketones that is having hydroxy groups in ortho or para position or amino group in ortho or para position by treating with alkaline hydrogen peroxide what you are getting we are getting phenol so these are the examples of phenols catechol and quinol now we'll see the mechanism now we'll see the mechanism of uh, this reaction so first step is called as dissociation of hydrogen peroxide actually there may be four steps the first one is dissociation of hydrogen peroxide so we have taken that hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 when it is treated with a base there may be removal of one proton from the hydrogen peroxide and that will be added with the base and that is removed so what you are getting we have only ooh that is called as peroxide ion that is having negative charge that's why it is acting as a nucleophile so what is the first step dissociation of hydrogen peroxide and we are getting a peroxide ion and that is acting as a nucleophile second step is attack of nucleophile now we have that uh, nucleophile that is the peroxide ion that is treated with the aryl aldehyde or ketone so during that addition what happens this peroxide ion is added with the carbonyl carbon of that aryl aldehyde so if it is added there already the valency of carbon is carbon is 4 now if if it is going to attack with that the bond between the carbon and oxygen no actually that is connected by means of a double bond so that would be broken and that would be converted to single bond that's why this peroxide ion is added with the carbon so here added like that and on the valency of oxygen is 2 now we have only one no only one bond is there that's why to satisfy the valency of that oxygen we are putting negative charge here so that can be called as tetrahedral structure or tetrahedral intermediate then third step is migration of aryl group now we have taken the tetrahedral intermediate and there may be from the tetrahedral intermediate the aryl group is migrated how it is migrating if uh, the electron releasing group the, for example hydroxy group or amino group is present uh, present in ortho or para position means 
it facilitates the migration of aryl group actually the aryl group is connected to the carbon here because of the presence of this electron releasing group in ortho or para position what happens this is migrated from the carbon to the oxygen that's why first the ring no aryl ring would be connected to the oxygen and that oxygen is connected to this aldehyde group and this hydroxyl ion would be removed and we are getting an aryl formate second we'll repeat that electron releasing groups for example hydroxy or amino group if it is present in ortho or para position that facilitates the effective migration of that aryl group then fourth one is hydrolysis now we are taking the aryl formate and that would be hydrolyzed by means of water so from the water the hydroxyl ion would be taken and that ion is added with the formal aldehyde aldehyde from this one and that is removed as formic acid so left proton is added with oxygen and we are getting catechol so these are the four steps in mechanism of this second reaction now next one is applications so there may be three applications are there the first one is conversion of ortho vanillin into 2,3 dihydroxy anisole. So, what is orthovanillin? That is 2 hydroxy, 3 methoxy benzaldehyde. So, that would be converted to 2,3 dihydroxy anisole, otherwise called as pyrogalol ortho monomethyl ether. So, what is that? So, here we have the benzene ring. What, uh, what is orthovanillin? That is 2 hydroxy, 3 methoxy benzaldehyde. That is otherwise called as orthovanillin. By treating with alkaline H2O2, what happens? This aldehyde group, no, that would be converted to hydroxy group, and we are getting 2,3 dihydroxy anisole. So, anisole is the parent one, two uh, hydroxy groups are added, that is why it is called 2,3 dihydroxy anisole. Otherwise, we, one more name is there, that is here we have the methyl, methyl group, no, that is replaced by means of hydrogen, means we are getting pyrogalol. So, in the pyrogalol, one hydrogen is replaced by means of methyl, that is why it is called pyrogalol. Or o monomethyl ether. So, another example is 5 cyano 3 methyl 2 hydroxy acetophenone is converted to 3 4 dihydroxy phenyl acetonitrile. That is, this is called 5 cyano. So, according to that, this is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the parent one now that is called as acetophenone. In the acetophenone, second portion we have hydroxy group, fifth portion we have cyanomethyl. So, by the addition of that uh, hydrogen peroxide, what happens here? We have a ketone now. That ketone would be converted to hydroxy group and we are getting 3, 4 dihydroxy phenyl acetonitrile. Third one is a conversion of 2 hydroxy 3, 4 dimethyl acetophenone to 3, 4 dimethyl catechol. So, here here already we have known this part now that can be called as acetophenone. In the acetophenone second portion we have hydroxy. Third and fourth we have dimethyl. That is why it is called 2-hydroxy 3,4-dimethyl acetophenone. That is treated with alkaline hydrogen peroxide. What happens? This ketone present here now that is converted to hydroxy group. So, we are getting 3,4-dimethyl catechol. So, this is called as catechol. So, this one now. This can be called as catechol. This is 3,4 dimethyl catechol. So, these are the applications of uh, this uh, Duckin reaction. Now, we will see the salient feature of Duckin reaction. So, this reaction no, is this is only for uh, this reaction is only for aromatic aldehydes or ketones and that is having amino group or hydroxy group in ortho or para position. If it is not having that groups, it will not undergo Duckin reaction. So, that is all about Duck in reaction. Next class we will see another naming reaction. Thank you.